M29 Reaper. The M29 Reaper, also known as Predator B, is an advanced unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems for the U.S. Air Force. Designed as the successor to the MQ-1 Predator, the Reaper is significantly larger and more powerful, capable of carrying 15 times more payload, including precision weapons such as AGM-114 Hellfire missiles and 500-pound laser-guided bombs, making it a crucial asset for targeted strikes. Since its introduction in 2007, the Reaper has undergone various upgrades. The MQ-9A Mariner specializes in maritime surveillance, boasting an impressive endurance of up to 49 hours. The MQ-9 Block 1 Plus enhanced electrical power and secure communications, while the Block 5 variant, introduced in 2017, improved communication capabilities and payload handling. The MQ-9B Sky Guardian and Sea Guardian are designed for intelligence and maritime patrols, respectively featuring extended flight durations of over 40 hours in all types of weather and with sophisticated radar systems. The Protector RGM Cake 1, set to enter service with the UK's RF, incorporates advanced low collateral weaponry for extended surveillance and strike missions. To date, the MQ-9 Reaper and its variants have been acquired by the US Air Force, US Department of Homeland Security, NASA, and several other nations, including the United Kingdom, Italy, France, Spain, Japan, and India. It made its combat debut in 2007 in Afghanistan and has since been extensively employed in Iraq, Syria, Libya, Yemen, Somalia, and other conflict zones. Sukhoi S-70 Okotnik B the Sukhoi S-70 Okotnik B, or Hunter, is a stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle developed by Sukhoi and the Russian aircraft corporation MiG. Unveiled in 2017, it integrates systems from the Sukhoi Su-57 fighter jet and is designed for stealth operations and long-range missions alongside manned aircraft. The Russian military envisions the Okotnik B as a loyal wingman for the Su-57, extending its sensor range and weapon capacity. Powered by an AL-31 jet engine, the Okotnik reaches speed exceeding 620 miles per hour with a range of nearly 6,000 kilometers. Its design features stealth technologies such as a flat nozzle which reduce radar visibility making it effective in modern warfare. Additionally, the S-70 can carry various air-to-air -air and air-to-surface munitions including precision-guided bombs and missiles enhancing its versatility. The first flight took place in August 2019 after extensive ground tests and it is expected to enter service with the Russian Air Force by 20 25, though sanctions and geopolitical factors may impact its deployment timeline. Wing Lung 2 the Wing Lung 2, or Chengdu GJ-2, developed by the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, AVIC, is China's answer to the American MQ-9 Reaper. This medium-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aerial vehicle features a 67-foot wingspan and can carry up to 1,058 pounds of weapons, making it a formidable platform for reconnaissance and strike missions. With an endurance of up to 20 hours, the Wing Lung 2 can loiter over target areas, providing valuable intelligence or delivering precision strikes as needed. Needed. Development of the Wing Lung 2 began in the early 2010s, building on the experience from its predecessor, the Wing Lung 1. The drone made its first flight in 2017 and has since been deployed in various military operations, including significant roles in the Libyan Civil War, where the UAE used it for airstrikes. In 2021, it aided in the Henan floods in China, providing ground reconnaissance and communication relay services. In 2024, Pakistan utilized Wing Lung 2s alongside JF-17s and F-16s for strikes on militants within the Iranian border. The export version has been successfully employed in several Middle Eastern conflicts, with Pakistan and Egypt purchasing numerous units. The latest variant, the Chengdu Wing Long 3, entered service in 2022, reflecting advancements in design and capabilities. RQ-4 Global Hawk The Northrop Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk is a high-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aerial vehicle for global intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, in all weather. It has a wingspan of 39.8 meters, a length of 14.5 meters, and a height of 4.7 meters. Powered by a Rolls-Royce AE 3007H turbofan engine, it operates at altitudes up to 65,000 feet and ranges over 22,780 kilometers with over 32 hours of 
of endurance. The RQ4 offers near real-time ISR support with high-resolution sensors covering up to 40,000 square nautical miles. Development began in 1995 and the Global Hawk first flew on February 28, 1998, achieving combat readiness after the September 11 attacks in 2001 and surpassing 125,000 flight hours since then. The RQ4 is produced in several blocks. Block 10, RQ4A, retired in 2011. Block 20, RQ4B, upgraded sensor suite for IMINT, 3 converted to EQ4 for battlefield Airborne Communication Node, BACN Communication Relay. Block 30. Operational since August 2011. Multi-intelligence platform with electro-optical, infrared synthetic aperture radar, SAR, and SIGINT sensors, supporting Enduring Freedom, Iraqi Freedom, and Odyssey Dawn. Block 40. Operational since September 2013. Includes Radar Technology Insertion Program, RTIP, for advanced moving target and wide area surveillance. The U.S. is modernizing this variant with a modular ISR payload adapter deployed in Afghanistan and Ukraine. Currently, 33 units are active in the U.S. Air Force, with interest from Australia, Canada, Japan, Spain, New Zealand, South Korea, and India in acquiring the Global Hawk. Heron TP. The IAI Heron TP, also known as Aitan, Itan, meaning steadfast in Hebrew, is a sophisticated medium altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, IAI. It boasts an 85 foot wingspan, a turboprop engine, a maximum speed of 4 and 7 km per hour, a range of 7 400 km, an endurance of over 30 hours, and the capability to carry payloads up to 2,200 pounds. It is perfect for intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and recovery reconnaissance, as well as combat operations when equipped with air-to-ground missiles. Launched in April 2004 as a successor to the Heron UAV, the Israeli Air Force inducted the ITON in 2010, and since then, this model has been effectively deployed in various contexts, including the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the war in Syria. Recent updates include acquisitions by Germany, India, and Greece. As of May 2024, the German Air Force announced readiness to operate the Heron TP after leasing the UAVs since 2018. India has also finalized a purchase of armed variants, further establishing the Heron TP's global presence as a reliable platform for modern military operations. Tayak Songer the Tayak Sungor is a medium-altitude long-endurance, unmanned combat aerial vehicle developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, for the Turkish Armed Forces. Based on the Tai Anka series, it is Tai's largest drone designed for surveillance, signals intelligence, maritime patrol, and combat. With a 750 kg payload and 60-hour endurance, the Aksungur measures 12.5 meters long and has a 24.2 meter wingspan. Powered by twin turbocharged engines and equipped with six hardpoints for munitions, like the Teber 82, MAM-L, and Rocket Sansirat. Development took 18 months with its maiden flight on March 20, 2019, and production beginning in 2020. The first unit was delivered to the Turkish Navy in October 2021. Aksungur has since been used in anti-submarine and combat missions, including in the Aegean Sea and Iraq. In addition to Turkey, it has been exported to Chad and Kyrgyzstan, with future deliveries planned for Algeria and Angola, reflecting Turkey's expanding UAV capabilities. Boeing MQ-28 Ghost Bat the Boeing MQ-28 Ghost Bat, previously known as the Air Power Teaming System, ATS, is an advanced uncrewed combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, designed to enhance multi-mission air combat operations. Developed by Boeing Australia in collaboration with the Royal Australian Air Force, RAAF, it features a wingspan of 23 feet 11 in, 7.3 meters, and an operational range exceeding 2,000 nautical miles, 3,700 kilometers. The Ghost Bat will be equipped with integrated sensor packages for intelligence, surveillance, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance, operations, and tactical early warning missions. Development of the MQ-28 began in the early 2010s, marking the first military aircraft designed and built in Australia in over 50 years. The first test flight took place in February 2021, with ongoing tests enhancing the aircraft's capabilities. The Ghost Bat has shown its potential by collaborating with crewed aircraft like the F-35A and E-7A during testing. The RAAF plans to acquire 10 Ghost Bats, aiming for initial operational capability by 2024-25. Discussions regarding its acquisition by the United States Air Force further underscore its significance in modern military operations. Bayraktar TB3 
The Bakhtar TB-3 is a medium-altitude long-endurance, unmanned combat aerial vehicle, developed by Baycar. Capable of short-range takeoff and landing, it's designed for use on platforms like TCG Anadolu, which shifted to accommodate UAVs after Turkey's removal from the F-35 program. The TB-3's foldable wings allow it to operate from aircraft carriers, a rare feature in its class. Unveiled on October 29, 2020, the TB-3 made its maiden flight on October 27, 2023. Powered by the TEI PD-170 engine, it has a 14-meter wingspan, a 1,450 kg maximum takeoff weight, and a 280 kg payload. It carries advanced munitions, including MAML, UMTAS, and Rocket San Sirat. Set to enter service in 2024, the TB-3 will enhance Turkey's defense, operating from both land and sea. It will work alongside platforms like the Bayraktar Kuzilelma, marking a significant step in Turkey's unmanned systems development. CASC CH-5 Rainbow The CASC CH-5 Rainbow, developed by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, is a cutting-edge, medium-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aerial vehicle that has garnered significant attention in the global drone market. With its impressive 68-foot wingspan and ability to carry up to 2,200 pounds of weapons, the CH-5 is designed to compete with advanced Western drones like the MQ-9 Reaper. What sets the CH-5 apart is its extraordinary endurance. It can remain airborne for up to 60 hours when unarmed, making it one of the longest enduring drones in its class. The development of the CH-5 began in the early 2010s as part of China's efforts to advance its unmanned aerial capabilities. The drone made its first flight in 2015 and has since been marketed as a cost-effective alternative to Western systems. While its use by the Chinese military remains somewhat opaque, the CH-5 has found success in the export market, particularly in the Middle East and Africa. Elbit Hermes 900 The Elbit Hermes 900, developed by Israel's Elbit Systems, is a highly capable medium-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aerial vehicle that has gained recognition for its versatility and advanced capabilities. With a wingspan of 49 feet and the ability to carry payloads up to 770 pounds, the Hermes 900 is designed to excel in a wide range of missions, including intelligence gathering, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance. Its endurance of over 36 hours allows for extended operation times, making it an ideal platform for persistent surveillance and border patrol operations. Development of the Hermes 900 began in the late 2000s as an evolution of the successful Hermes 450 platform. The drone made its maiden flight in 2009 and entered service with the Israeli Air Force in 2014. Since since then, it has been adopted by several other countries, including Brazil, Mexico, and Switzerland, for various applications ranging from military operations to disaster relief and environmental monitoring.